Hey y'all, it's Nona. And today I'm here with a collab with my good friend Lori from Hanging Out with Lori and my other good friend Cece from Cece Morrison. Um, and we decided we're going to do another look in our musically inspired collab. And this time Cece picked the song and the song she chose is Tequila Sunrise by the Eagles. So we're going to do a look inspired by that song. Um, by what the words or the music or the name or anything about it, the lyrics, um, inspires us. So obviously I'm going to do a sunrise look, um, and I'm going to use my new Jeffree Star palette, the Bloodlust palette that I won from J Girl Beauty Janelle, and it looks like this. And I think this beautiful shade here, and this one, and probably this one. Some of these pinks and this one will do a really beautiful sunset look. So I'm going to go in first with Monarchy on a fluffy brush. <clears throat> I don't want to mess up the star pattern on these. <laughs> but I'm going to put that in my transition area. Going a little more brown than I thought it would, but we'll start with that. I really like the song Tequila Sunrise. Um, it's a very visual song, um, and I really like the Eagles. Um, I'll tell you a little about Lori and CC. Lori does a lot of different things on her channel. Um, she does fragrance reviews. She has a series that she calls Fragrance Friday where she talks about a specific fragrance and she tells you all the notes and the dry down and the top middle and all that. She is very knowledgeable about fragrance so I love to watch that series because I'm not that big of a fragrance guru myself. I like perfume and I like to smell good, but I don't have a large, large collection. And um, I have no idea of the notes or any of that. So um, it's really fun to learn. She also does other project pans. She does looks. She does collabs. Obviously, she's in my Burstone Beauties collab group with me. Um, She's just a really sweet person, uh, and I really, really love her to pieces. She's one of my best friends here on YouTube. Uh, Cece is a newer friend to me. I just met her recently, and um, her channel is also very new. She doesn't have very much content up yet, but um, she is going to be a beauty-based a beauty -based channel, and... Uh, She's in this collab with us, and she's she's a very sweet lady. She's uh, very supportive on my channel, and um, I can't wait to see what she starts putting out on hers um, in the future. And she's a sweetheart, and, and I really, really care for her and love her, too. Um, let's see. Next, I think I'm going to go into Bleeding Heart. And I'm going to put that into my socket. You know Jeffree Star's shadows are very, very pigmented. And they blend easily as well. That just applied like a dream. I always start off with just... A little shadow on my brush and then I build up because I'm not the best at shadow application and it's much easier to add shadow than it is to try to buff shadow away so that's a beautiful color
this is my first impression of this palette and so far from just using those two shades I really like it I've never met a Jeffree Star product that I didn't like so I can't wait till he comes out with foundation I know some people don't like him and the things he's done in the past but I'm one of these people who tries to separate the person from the brand because I just want good makeup that's all I'm not here for the drama or any of that I don't keep up with it and I don't care to know it and so but I like his makeup it's it's good quality okay for the out of the I'm gonna take blood queen and I'm gonna take it on a pencil brush because that's what works best for my small hooded eyes. I'm just going to run it a little bit up into the crease and about a third of the way on the lid. I'm getting a little fallout from that one. And maybe a little patchiness but that could be user error because like I said I am not the best at shadow application so let's see how it builds on itself for me I think I'm going to take that brush with the red and go back over that a little bit. Yeah, that looks like it blended it a little better. I'll try a little more. I want to build it up a little more. I'm just kind of packing the shadow on now instead of blending it. That looks like it's doing what I want. I just wanted that purple a little bit darker. So now let's do the other eye. And this is my hardest part of shadow application is matching my two outer corners <laughs> outer V's rather why do I call them outer corners that looks awful I'm going to go back in with that brush with the red on it. Just blend over that a little more. Back in with the purple. I'm going to try to stamp it on this time. Okay, so for the lid, I think I'm going to take a pinky purpley color. I'm going to go in with Wet Jewel. It's pink here. And I'm going to spray that with my NYX Matte Finishing Setting Spray. Did y'all see that? 
I just sprayed myself in the face. <laughs> I spray every shimmer regardless of brand. Oh my gosh. I'm such a goob. That is really, really pretty. I'm sorry if y'all can hear my dog. He's out there in the backyard. Let's make sure this isn't gonna spray me in the face again. That's really pretty. Okay, so I'm going to go off here, clean up this fallout. I'm going to run Betrayal under my lower lash line. I'm going to put some of Beauty Sleep in my inner corner. And I'll be back to do some lips. Okay, I forgot to tell y'all that I was going to run some of this Wet n Wild Mega Last Black Eyeliner in the Waterline and put on some of this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So I did that. So this is the finished eye look. It's not exactly how I wanted it to turn out, but I think it's okay. Um, so I'm going to use this Milani Naturally Chic Lipstick. I don't know, I was contemplating different colors for the lips, an orange, a pink, but I think a nude would be pretty good with this. I haven't said this in a while, but these smell like watermelon. Oh, they smell so good. And this is the finished look. My hair's getting longer, so it's about time for a cut because I think I want to keep it short. Anyways, I hope y'all like the look. And please go over and check out Lori and Cece and tell them I sent you. So, if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Love to all. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.